In this video, we're going to take TMAX 400 film, we're going to push it seven stops to 51,200. What's up, guys? Today, we're going to get a little extreme, okay? And before I even get into anything, I just want to preface, you know, the whole video with this. Why even push a 400 speed past 50,000 ISO? Like, why even do it? I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. There's no point to it. I mean, you might say, Chris, why? Like, what's the point? You know, and, and I'd say, person watching the video, you are correct. <laughs> there is no point. I mean, it's, uh, it's not a usable ISO in everyday terms. However, I like to experiment. And I was kind of curious, I looked online, and I couldn't find any good info for development times and just info in general on people shooting TMAX at, you know, 51,000. And I thought, you know what? That's a good opportunity to experiment. So it took a couple days. It did take a couple rolls of film to, to get it right. Um, so I think I got what's a usable development time, and I'll share that later in the video. So without further delay, I'll throw a roll of T-Max in the F-100 and we'll pop downtown get some shots. Now, in those shots, I was shooting out in the, the sunlight in a lot of them. And to kind of keep some usable speeds, I used a, a three-stop reduction filter. And I, I used a, a Sekonic 308 because I, I didn't trust the meter on my F100 to meter correctly that high. I figured I, I can't go wrong if I take my you know handheld meter, I shoot it at 6400, That's it, it only goes to 8000, I think. Um, so if I set it at 64 and then just you know drop back three stops, you know, that, that would land me where I need to be. So I figured that would be a little bit more accurate than, than in camera. So after seeing those shots, I come away with that 51,000 can really be a usable ISO. Uh, now, granted, just like shooting at any speed, okay, it is going to be lighting dependent, okay? The conditions of, of your scene are definitely going to have a factor. I think more so when you're shooting this high. It, it just seems to be exaggerated. Uh, for example, you know, any kind of contrast you've seen, you're going to have no shadow detail. It just, it, it's gone. But in flat scenes, you know, where it's even lighting and, and there's no sun directly in the frame, you could come away with still some shadow detail. Now, it, it's not going to be 400 speed shadow detail, but it's still there. Now, with all that said, I don't know that I would really be shooting at 51,000 again. You know, this was an experiment. It was kind of just for fun. I'll shoot at 32 and 64 all day long. Uh, but 51,000, uh, you know, again, more of a novelty, I think, one once and done for me. But now, as far as development, I ended up with 12 and a half minutes, and that's at 75 degrees with uh, using the, the T Max, the liquid developer. 
I went through, I, I wasted a few rolls. I say wasted, they were tests. You know, you, you have to kind of get a test to, to develop and, and see where you're at. And I did have so, a couple failures. You know, I'll, I'll put those up for you. So, you know, not everything was hunky-dory right out of the gate. You know, it, it took a little bit of testing, but, uh, you know, I went through and, and I, I did a sequential bunch of shots and I kind of landed on that 12 and a half minutes. So I, I think that worked for me. You know, your results it may be different. You know, hopefully that would work for you. Uh, but again, it, it might take some testing and some adjusting. And it's definitely going to be, again, scene dependent on how everything is metered. So... But I'll list out my procedure, what exactly I did from start to finish. I'll put all that stuff in the, the notes below. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I hope the video was helpful. If you guys do try this and you come up with maybe some better times, better temperatures, or the images look better, you know, please let me know. I'd, I'd really be, and even, you know, even if they turn out the same, I still, I'd, I'd like to check them out because I'm curious to see how many other people, maybe we can improve upon this. Uh, you know, drop me a comment or shoot me a DM on Instagram. We're, we're at Film is More Fun over there. And, you know, I'd really like to, to see, you know, if you guys do, you know, do this as well, how it turns out. So if this was helpful, if you could maybe like the video, share the video, you know, all that stuff, uh, that would be great. And until next time, we'll see you. Today we're going to go a little goo. Today we're going to goo. Goo. We're, we're gooing today. Are you gooing? I'm gooing. We're gooing. Yeah. Hi. Give a thumbs up and subscribe. Till the next time, we'll see you.